The world stands here today because of a remarkable progress in science and technology that we have made in the past. Even India has been contributing to the field of science since ancient times. So now let us look at the contributions of ancient India towards science and technology. Algebra, geometry and astronomy have all had their origins in Vedic literature even as early as 1500 BCE. From their use of weights and measures, it is very evident that the decimal system was in use during the Harappan civilization. One of our famous mathematicians, Aryabhat, had invented zero. Our first spacecraft was named in the honor of this great mathematician and astronomer. So now let us look at certain prime achievements of ancient India in science and technology. Water is a basic necessity for life and thus it has been the lifeblood for most major civilizations. Wells, ponds, lakes, dams and canals have been constructed with the advanced technologies throughout the historic timeline of Indian civilizations too. Even today, there are more than a million man-made ponds and lakes in India. Ancient India was pioneer in developing rust-free iron. Famous Iron Pillar of Delhi is testimony to the technology as it is rust-free even today. This technology from India was also famous in contemporary Europe for sword making. What we know today as the five elements of material world, namely earth, fire, air, water and space, were already known to our ancestors as Prithvi, Agni, Vayu, Jal and Antariksh. Ayurveda from India is the oldest system of medical science in the world. Originating from Sanskrit words Ayur and Ved, it means knowledge of life. One of our scholars, Charak, has done invaluable work in Ayurveda. Born in 300 BC, Charak has written his Ayurvedic advisories in his Charak Samhita, which we follow even today. Another great jewel of India was Sushruta, who is also known as the father of plastic surgery. Sushruta wrote the earliest work on medicine and surgery in his Sushruta Samhita. Traders and sailors from medieval Arab and Portugal obtained their boats from India. India was already using modern day tools like compass much before Europe. Some of the world's largest and most sophisticated ships were built in India and China. Now let us look at the dawn of the new era of science and technology in independent India. We have done remarkable work in the areas of nuclear and space science, electronics and defense system post our independence in 1947. India has the third largest scientific and technical manpower in the world. India is among the top five nations in missile launching technology. Ever since the establishment of the Department of Science and Technology in May 1971, science in India has received a major boost. DST promotes new areas of science and technology. Now, let us look at certain prime scientific developments post-independence. The main objective of our nuclear energy program is to use it to generate power and apply the technology for progress in agriculture, medicine, industry and research.
a major positive for the ongoing Atmanirbhar Bharat Abhiyan is that accelerators and nuclear power reactors are now designed and built indigenously in India. India is one of the most advanced countries in this field. The Department of Atomic Energy was founded on 3rd August 1954 by Dr. Homi Jahangir Bhabha. It remains under the charge of the Prime Minister of the nation. Established in 1969, the Indian Space Research Organization is responsible for space-related developments and research in India. It was Vikram Sarabhai, popularly known as the father of Indian Space Program, who was the torchbearer of ISRO, providing necessary direction to it. ISRO has several milestones to its credit. It had launched India's first satellite, Aryabhat, in 1975, followed by many more. ISRO also launched Chandrayaan-1, India's first mission to the moon, in 2008, which was very crucial in finding evidences of water on moon. The launch of Chandrayaan-2 in 2019 was no less than a success despite the loss of the Vikram rover. India is the third country in the world to develop its own remote sensing satellite. No one needs an introduction to the growth and impact of IT sector in India, especially after the outbreak of COVID-19 pandemic. Today, we all are attending conferences and webinars on applications like Zoom, GeoMeet, Google Meet and so on. Social media applications like WhatsApp, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Telegram and Twitter have become integral parts of our social lives. The IT sector has huge economic potential and has accounted to about 8% of India's GDP in 2020. India has some of the top companies in the world like HCL Technologies, TCS, Infosys and Wipro. Indian apps like Alignments and Coo have emerged in the social media market too. Games like WCC3 and Ludo King have become very popular. The IT sector in India grows at the rate of 30% annually. India is among the leading countries in the area of biotechnology by practically recognizing the unlimited possibilities of its applications to increase agricultural and industrial production and to improve human and animal life. Three major areas which are receiving special attention in this field are Number 1 Cattle herd improvement through embryo transfer technology. In this process, a bull is chosen from a high yield herd and then its sperm is taken out. A cow is then artificially inseminated with this sperm. When the zygote develops into embryos, it is removed from the mother uterus and split into several small embryos each of which can grow into a new car. Each small embryo is then placed in the uterus of foster cows for further development. This technology has helped in increasing the number of offsprings per female. Number 2 Vitro propagation of disease resistant plant varieties. Vitro means within the glass, so, vitro propagation of plants can be termed as the artificial process for reproduction of plants in the controlled environment of glass made test tubes. This process helps to produce several clones of a chosen family so that each clone is as healthier as the chosen plant. It so helps in producing disease resistant plant varieties of higher yields. India has always been remarkable when it comes to its vaccination drive. 
diseases like polio have been completely eradicated from India. Currently, India is leading the world in its vaccination drive against COVID-19. We are providing the people the Swadeshi vaccine known as Covaxin. We are also producing other vaccines like Covishield and Sputnik V on large scale. India has a coastline of more than 7500 kilometers and about 1250 islands. The Department of Ocean Development was established in 1981 to ensure optimum utilization of living resources, exploitation of minerals and to produce ocean energy. Our efforts in this direction have been to assess seabed topography and polymetallic mineral nodules. India has sent 13 scientific research expeditions to Antarctica since 1981 and has established a permanently man-based Dakshin Gangotri. It was established on 26 January 1984, but it was abandoned in 1990 after it was submerged in ice. India's current stations are Maitri and Bharati. The National Institute of Ocean Technology was established in 19. 19- 93 November.